Hello there, everybody. Welcome to another Alexa look. Today, we take a look at Fuzz Force Spook Squad, uh, which, by the looks of it, is a furry roguelite, but it's not. Um, this is a, a pretty deep dice-building, deck-building roguelite uh, with a lot of unique decisions, and it's, it's a really, really beefy game um, for what looks to be kind of simplistic based on the graphics and such. Um, board gaming fans, you're gonna love this. Dice rolling fans, you're gonna really love this. Um, there's a lot to unpack in this game. Do I understand everything in the game? No, <laughs> I don't. I've played, I've played a little bit off camera just to attempt to understand, uh, but I do not have it all. So I'm gonna do my best to explain it all. Um, bear with me, there may be a little bit of confusion. As just, we'll figure it out as we go, right? It's an Alexa look, we don't have to be uh, perfect to start out. So, uh, without further ado, let's begin the mission, right? And we'll talk a little bit about some of these characters that we have here. Um, so, we have several characters in the game. We got Finn, we got Dottie, we got Lix, who we do not have unlocked, and we have Mecha Peppa, who we do not have unlocked. Um, each of these characters then has a different weapon as well, uh, which is kind of crazy so finn actually has five different weapons and that means that that's essentially five different characters for each of these characters um it is kind of insane um that's a lot of replayability which is obviously for me very important in a roguelite so let's take a look a little bit at our starting dice okay it's pretty simple when you when you get to the surface of it you have an attack die you have a shield die you have a charge die and then you have a stat die for each of these dice. So our attack die is a 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. These are the six sides of the die. Uh, shield, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4. You can read them. Um, but then we have a stat die. And that stat die basically will give us uh, an additional little bit each time we roll it. And then these stat dice, we can, we can increase. Hell, these dice, we can increase. Uh, and you'll kind of see how that goes. For Dice Rifle, which is our starting weapon that we're using as Finn, at 20 or more battery, we gain a third dice. So it's something to keep in mind. We gotta, we gotta bring the battery up, and then that allows us to get a third dice. Um, and obviously having a third dice then allows us to do more of whatever these things are, which is super valuable. We also have a special attack. Consider this to be like our, our ult, right? Um, roll a high value die for big damage. Bang, bang, easy enough. So, our mission is to capture the Polter Prince to unlock special missions. Um, I, we're just going to hop in, right? We're just going to hop in, and then I'll attempt to explain how the, the combat works in this beautiful little game. So, the map is full exploration. Um, you kind of fill out the board. It, it's a little bit of a... It, it's a board game looking board, right? So, up here we got some treasure. To the left we have a, a monster. I'm going to assume this is like a rest site, uh, so I don't want to go there quite yet. But if we look at our inventory here, so here's our dice. Um, you can see obviously the one, one, two, two, three, four on here. Uh, it defaults to showing you whatever the highest value is uh, on the die. And then we also have our stat die, which our stat die is a zero, zero, one, one, two, two. But I, I don't, I, I still don't fully comprehend how these stat dice work. If I'm being honest with you. Um, because like it always, it says charge plus four, but this die does not have uh, a plus four on it. I don't know if these are just like a, a default value that you always have. Uh, and as we get better dice, maybe we can upgrade that. I don't fully know. So we're going to figure that out, um, kind of as we go, but let's grab this chest to start to get us a little something. Every time you encounter a event or an enemy, you'll have a chance to roll a bonus die. Um, we can spend our ghost jars for which we have five to start. We also can get these for fighting enemies. Um, we can use two of those to roll the bonus dice, or we can spend one heart to roll the bonus dice. The bonus dice have four sides on each of them that are good, and then two sides on each that are bad. So there's a chance that we end up with crap out of this, or there's a chance it's great. Um, I love gambling with this kind of stuff, so I will do it. Um, the chest was a mimic and it was full of poison. It feels horrible, right? I mean, that, that feels really bad, and then I'm assuming this is now a fight. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not a great start. It's not a great start in the slightest, but that's okay. 
that's okay. We got to fight a little mimic here. So there's also a lucky number system. Um, and essentially how the lucky number system works is when we roll, if we roll the lucky number on our main main die, uh, then we get a second turn. So the incentive here is basically like, hey, look at your dice, figure out what the, the mode of the dice is, what the most common number is. Uh, in our case, it's a one. And then set that as a lucky number, because that way you have the highest chance of rolling that. Now, if I know going into the fight that, hey, I want to shield a lot, then we may want to put the lucky number as three if we're going to be rolling the, the shield dice a lot, or two or one if you're doing the attack dice, one if you're doing the charge dice a lot. Um, so there's, there's definitely a lot of thinking ahead as you're going into fights that you want to do. For our sake, I'm going to keep it at one. I, I feel like that's easier. We took six damage from this sucker just spawning. That feels insanely rude. Um, so we can see here, again, we, we have our options. Attack, shield, charge, and, and then big shot. But we have to get up to 30 on this bar um, to use big shot. And we do that by, by rolling the other dice. So I want to personally shield up to start. I feel like we want to have a little bit of shield on us. Um, low chance at rolling our lucky number of a 1. Because we're at 20 battery, or more battery, we have a third dice. And then these are the stat dice, so I think these are pulling numbers from our stat uh, die right now. Um, and it pulled a 1 and a 2. Happy days for us. It's a guaranteed 1 and a 2. So there's a 3, and then also a 2 and a 1, so we get 6 shield, uh, which is lovely. If this guy can hit for 6, I'm going to scream. Uh, I mean, he, he freaking hit for four and that healed him in the process. So, I mean, that it kind of feels bad, but that's okay. Um, we also, every time we use the main die, whatever we roll on the main die uses battery. So, that that's why you have the ability to charge uh, so you can get that going. I'm going to shield again because this guy is really a son of a gun. We're going to get six six shield again. Puts us up to seven. We've now dipped below our uh, our bar though that makes him roll three dice man it's just it's just insane okay so we're at we're at three shield now we also lose a bit of shield at the start of each turn i'm going to charge now i don't know what happens if we overcharge uh and we're gonna figure it out right here i suppose um so yeah we we very overcharged apparently nothing happens that's okay um, and he just inflicted, like, a frickload of status effects on me. My action dice are all ones, and my special is disabled. I mean, that's it's horrible. Um, we lose an HP when attacked without a shield. We lose HP equal to poison, and it ignores shield. And I lose two, battery, uh, two HP when battery is gained or drained. So really, he just, he just gave me the one, too. Um, I might as well... Oh, dude, we rolled our lucky number. That's fantastic. Okay, we got shield like crazy right now. And we no longer we're no longer pranked as well. So now I would like to attack. We hit him for two, we hit him for one, we hit him for two. Get smacked, loser. Um he now gets to roll. He's just gonna shield. He shields for three. That we we don't mind. We don't mind. We're taking some poison damage. That's life, dude. That's life. Get 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 a smack and we rolled our lucky number. Hog freaking champ, give me another roll. Where are we at on big shot? 16 of 30. We're basically in... Oh, we rolled our lucky number again. Can we keep chaining, dude? Are we still lucky? No, okay. So we can only get the lucky once. Honestly, that, that's kind of understandable. Uh, so he gained four shield from that. Our battery is fricked. And I can only attack but gain damage equal to angry stacks. I don't know what the heck ang- Oh, I, so I gain one damage? Is that- Oh, but I don't have batteries, so none of that did damage. Okay. I mean, that's unfortunate. So we, we need to we need to roll our, our battery die here. But I can't. Because I'm- I'm- Angy. I'm very angy. Okay. So keep, keep it going, I guess. The, these- Oh, those- that's still doing damage. Okay. That's fine. And he's just shielding up. That doesn't bother me either. So now I'm no longer angry. So I can get a little charge going. Uh, and we... Uh, that's our lucky. Which is very lovely. Um, we get our battery back. 
No, I could go for broken and, and, and try to um Oh, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. I was gonna say go for broken attack him, but I feel like we need a, a little bit of battery in our life. This is the one where he heals back. Dude, this this is a fricked fight for our first fight. I, I cannot deny. Let's go for another battery here. Now we're back up to full. We had an eight on our stat die right there, uh, which is, I mean, like actually lovely. Frick this prank. I, I hate this prank. Prank is, is terrible. It, it actually sucks. Let's roll a little shield die. A five on our stat die. You love to see a lucky number as well. You'd love to see. Um, okay, we are going to attack. Someday we'll kill this mimic. I promise you we have our big shot. Okay, so we will roll big shot. There's a 13 on here. Oh, baby, get fricked. Oh, you'd love to see it. He got smacked around, baby. He got smacked around. Five shield sucks. Um, I guess there there is a realm in which I, I kill him on this turn. In fact, we, we absolutely kill him on this turn. Get, get killed, you stupid mimic. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling good. Long fight. <laughs> Long fight. Painful first fight for sure. Uh, but we got there in the end. So we now get to choose either a ghost jar or a, a passive module upgrade. Um, think of this like a, a relic in, in Slay the Spire, right? So enemy attacks activate their burn damage. So if we had burn, this would be great. Just, just, I mean, you might as well, right? You might as well. So that slips into here. Um, I don't know. I, I'm assuming we can exchange those out over time, but I'm not entirely sure let's fight this enemy i probably should heal but let's fight this enemy uh, of course we're going to to go for some bonus dice here all stats plus one and lucky turns make you charge i mean this sounds like a lovely experience to me i'm just glad we didn't get you know double negative again so even though our stat dice are going up we still have the same regular dice so we still probably want our lucky number to be one I, I think that that's reasonable. Okay. And it's also important to note, so our battery and our health stay at the values that they were uh, on the previous turn. That's unfortunate. Thank God the stat dice were, were okay on this one. Because rolling that kind of sucks. Uh, we take five damage. A little rude. A little rude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for this again. Lucky number, very lucky number, very lovely number. Uh, I will be, I will be going for a little attack now. Thank you. We we roll a little three banger. That's a seven. Oh, he got he got rocked, dude. <laughs> he got freaking rocked. So he's got a little special attack, a little little three heal. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tell you though, I feel great about this. Good rolls and he's dead. Good rolls and he's dead. Get out of here. Okay. That fight went so much smoother than the last one. And, and now we can start to, to hopefully get some good upgrades going. I think the Mimic is a pretty rare enemy, right? So danger boost plus one. I don't know what the heck danger is. Give me the ghost jar. And then we'll grab this chest. And hopefully it's not a Mimic. I am going to freaking roll the bonus dice. Let, let's use our, our ghost jars this time. You son of a freaking god. <laughs> I actually cannot believe this. I I have to fight another mimic. You know what? We we know we know this guy's tricks. We know this guy's tricks. So immediately I would like to shield. We do get a lucky. Um I wish we still had the luckies charge me. I have to go for oh this is so bad. It's so bad, but we get above our, our 20 threshold, so we get our third die, which is good. Okay, this is, uh, he gains shield. It also wiped our battery and made me angry. Okay, charge stat added to attack shield and charge stat this turn. I don't know what that means, but I guess that's good. Is that good? I don't know. I am at zero battery now, though, and I have been pranked. Okay. Give me, obviously, some charge back. I mean, having... The thing is, he makes my dice one, dude, and then one is my lucky number. So it's kind of... 
that's that's good stuff for me. What do we have here? Lose HP when the battery is drained. I see. Yeah. Probably should have done that a little bit more carefully. Yeah, we're going to lose 2 HP again. I'm not sure why we didn't lose 2 HP. Because we definitely drained our battery there. Oh, it happened after the fact, I think. We're, we're just, like, dead, right? Like, we're just dead. I, I have to do this again, even though, like, it, it's obviously not a great idea to do so. Because we lose, we lose so much freaking battery from this. Or health from this. And then this sucker's gaining five shield. I feel like fighting two mimics on the first three fights is not how this normally goes. And I'm, I'm getting my ass kicked as a result of it. This is the one where it pranks me, right? No, he just straight up attacks. Okay. So I got two health. Um, <laughs> I feel like the most reasonable thing to do is to surrender. <laughs> but I'll I'll play it out. I'll play it out. Um, I mean, you have to shield. There's no other way around it. Um, you have to shield. And then he's going to roll uh, five damage and kill me. At least close to kill me. I, I, look, I'm gonna roll this die. I'm dead. I'm dead. So he, he basically, he's, he's got a free shot at me. I am getting three shield out of nowhere. Oh, dude, this is just such a terrible... It's so freaking bad. Whenever he does that to me, it's so freaking bad. Like, draining all my battery sucks. Okay, he shields... It's four shield. I don't have the power to get through it. Roll, roll this. It's seven battery back. That's fine, but charge stat added to attack shield and charge stat this turn. Charge stat added to charge stat. I don't freaking know what that means, but that's okay. But let's attack. J just try. It. We're 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 never gonna whittle him down. The, the mimic is too strong to fight twice on the first floor I, I don't I don't know what else to do I really don't um give me give me a restart give me a restart I think I think we got we got gypped is what happened I I think we rightfully did, we we were not supposed to fight two mimics if this is a mimic I'm rage quitting <laughs> okay it's an uncommon die but it has no dice effect. That's fine as long as I can, you know, get a new die into our system here. Uh, this is where the heat of the game comes in. It's a really weird die, though. It's a really weird die. So, essentially, it's a 000778. But I think maybe the bottom one is if you put it as the stat die. So, I think we want to put it as the stat die. Let's put it as our, as our attack. Right? And then now we have this crap die, which we, we don't really care about, right? We don't really care about this. So now on the bottom, our stat die, we have a chance to roll an extra, like, passive 7-7-8 seven, seven, attack. That feels really good to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Let, let's go to this question mark event. It's just nothing, okay? That's fine. Uh, how about we go to this question mark event? It's still nothing. Okay, that's good. Let's do a fight. Let's do a fight. I I will spend one HP to roll the bonus die. Uh, enemy has an extra shield dice, but all my stats are plus one. I do, I love this mechanic, dude, because it makes every single fight feel really unique and interesting, um, which is cool. So we do still want to have our lucky number be one, at least moving forward. And then I, I kind of avoid an attack that lowers HP. So he gets one avoid gotcha so the start of each turn he gets one of those that seems not great right that seems not great i'm gonna roll our shield die once i mean that's that's a beefy seven shield that we just got um and then we're gonna go for an attack big time so ento immunity immune to all status effects except print okay now we attack and unfortunately, we did not get a, a seven, seven, eight. In fact, we got a two, which 
That makes actually no sense, because we didn't have a 2 on that die. So how does that work? I don't know. Um, let, let's charge here. Just to make sure that we are uh, getting that third die. I feel like getting the third die is, is pretty valuable. So we'll take 3 health here. I'm okay with that. I think now you just go for a smack. There's a 7 now. Okay. And we get an extra turn as well. Um, in my opinion, you just smack again. Ch chance of him not dying, very low. That's a good fight. I'm confused about why we got a 2. I am. But I, I will roll with it. I'll roll with it. I know we got plus 1 to all our stats, so maybe... Double poison. Nah, I mean, we don't have any poison related things. So here, here's what I'm thinking, right? So on this, it says plus one always. So maybe this die, right, has a plus one. We, we plus one to zero, and then we had all stats plus one for the fight. So that went to a two. But then I, I don't understand why the seven remained a seven. I'm not sure, to be honest. Now, I think this is maybe exiting the level. So I'm not sure we want to exit the level yet. Let, let's go to this question mark spot. I'll grab this chest. I, I'm not sure if there's any negative uh, effects to exploring, right? So sure, this is going to be a mimic, I can guarantee you. It's not. Okay. Uncommon die and there was a potion in the chest. That seems good. That seems really good. Okay, so what is our die here? This is a, a 234477 and there's some hearts on it. Now I don't know... Here we go. Danger. We had this earlier. Okay. Gain 2, 3, 4 danger, which increases all dice rolls by 2 while you're under 50% HP. Very interesting. Very interesting. So this die, we, we now... I mean, look, it's, it's better than any of our dice. So I think what you would like to do is... I mean, there's a couple different ways you could do this, right? Because theoretically, you could put it on, on your attack, and now it's you, you kind of just go into this Blitzkrieg mode whenever you're low on health, and you just try to outkill them, right? Or when you're low on health, you go, hey, put it in shield, and now we're going to shield extra. You know, this is a very offensive focus, very defensive focus, like to the extreme on both sides. Um, I'm going to go Blitzkrieg mode, right? Let's throw it on that die. So that turned into a 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 7. Now, why did that... I swear to God that just lowered those values. Am I crazy? One, two, two, four, six, seven. Maybe I'm losing my mind, actually. I swear there were two fours on this die like literally a second ago. Maybe I was looking at the bottom value, which I still don't necessarily understand what that means. I'm gonna keep it on attack, dude. But then, I mean, look, I, I suppose we, we don't have that other die. No, we do still have this die. So the one, two, three, three, four. I mean, this is just a better shield die at that point. Okay, we're we're chill with that. We're we're chill with that. Let's grab this other chest. I'm I'm just stacking resources right now, right? Give me let's roll bonus die here. And we got five ghost jars in there, and it's a common die. So the common die we don't care as much about. We would love to get some some rare dice from this. This is a common, but it also has poison. Apply 2, 3, 4 poison, which deals damage at the start of the turn. Interesting. And this is a 0, 0, 3, 3, 4, 4. So, I guess you want... But the stat dice can't... I, I believe the stat dice um, can't have status effects, if I remember correctly. But I, I suppose that this is still better than this. So let, let's do that. Let's do that. I feel like any die is going to be better than the starting die. It is kind of my understanding. And then sure, we got so many ghost jars now. So all stats plus one and my specials give lucky turns. I mean, we're going we're gonna to smack them. We're going to smack them. It's just that easy. Okay, Caterpillar. So now 7 is an option because of our attack die. And then 1 and 2 are both pretty common. I'm actually going to go for 2 because I think we, we roll our attack and our shield more than our charge. So I'm going to just smack him to start. 
Actually, no, we're, we're gonna shield. And dude, there is, okay, so there is in fact a, a poison effect possible here. And two's our lucky number, which is even better. Um, let's, so the attack, we're, we're not at our full charge capacity. When enemy reaches 50% HP, becomes scared. Okay, you know what? I would like to, I would like to charge once here J just we'll get back up to full on our battery and then next turn we'll we'll smack immediately so catter poison he has given me two poison i unfortunate but i don't care we still have seven shield and then this we smacked hard it's a lucky as well okay so now you just smack again it's all sixes we're, we're all twos get, go for six he's dead it, it was fine it was fine very, very good work. Grab your ghost jar. Some kind of passive upgrade that would be sick here. Static damage plus three. We don't do any static. Give me the ghost jar. Okay. Random event. Still nothing. Random event. Still nothing. Okay. Um, just gonna be blunt with you. Can I pop this potion for nine health? I can. Probably shouldn't have done that. Um, let's, let's go to here. Next is the boss. Let's fight the boss, dude. I feel okay right now. So our mission is saved. Um, so we we can we can quit and save, and that's actually really really nice that the game has a, a save feature like that. And then presumably this is our our soon to be boss fight, which I am concerned about for sure. Let's roll the bonus dice. My battery starts at one, and the enemy has an extra shield die. As as really bad i mean it's really bad there's no there's no getting around that it just sucks okay so lucky number two i do not like lucky number one although i guess it probably would have been better i mean now we're, we're regretting this right because we our our battery we have to roll a bunch at the start so maybe i should have yeah, I'm realizing that I, I probably should have uh, done... Oh, that's so useful. That's so useful. Okay. I should have probably put the, the lucky number as one because we knew we were going to be rolling the the battery die a lot here at the beginning, right? So now give me the shield. We would love to poison him. We did not poison him, but that's freaking like 11 shield, dude. We lose some battery, but 11 shield is going to... That's going to protect us for a little bit. So he is angry now, can only attack but gains damage equal to angry attacks. So we know he's going to attack, which means that we should probably prioritize shielding for right now. We also did manage to just get to full on our, our battery, which is very nice, very nice. We take three damage, but it's doubled, that's correct, yeah. Well, he gets an extra two from it, that, that's fair. Let's do a little shield, boy. And we just can't, we can't nail the poison, man. But our, our shield is, is cracked right now. Presumably from, from getting that new die on shield. Doing really good stuff. Um, I think I, I have to hit him eventually. <laughs> because it's just, he's got 48 health, dude. Yeah, we, we definitely have to hit him a little bit. Okay, we take no damage still. It's very good. And you're probably wondering, you know, hey, you rolled a two, Tyler. Why did that not trigger the lucky? The two has to be rolled on your, your base die. Okay, so we can go big shot now. I feel like there's no reason not to go big shot. Give me the big old 13. 11's fine. 11's fine. Okay. So he's getting angry again. Let's go shield die. We rolled our, our lucky, that's great. That's seven shield and we theoretically poison him? That did not poison him, okay. I don't know why that didn't poison him, but that's okay. Um, we gain a little bit of battery back. We're also getting like a passive three shield, dude. And I don't, I don't fully comprehend why we're getting the passive shield, but that's okay. Let, let's shield die again. There's our lucky number, very good. Give me the seven shield and chill. And then give me the charge real quick. Little five bangers, fine by me. Just got to get above that 20 threshold so we can smack, you know, as many with our, uh, 
our beautiful attack die. Four coming in. It's actually eight coming in. Fair enough. Um, and then you'll lose a little bit more. We, we have to smack him. The name of the game is, is to smack. We rolled our lucky as well. Okay, he's in rage now. Yeah, 50% he gains three angry. So he, he's really going to be smacking. We, we need to make sure we shield a little bit. It is our lucky number, but we've already gone through a lucky turn once. There, there's so many interesting uh, little, little effects that you end up dealing with in the game. It's a fascinating style for a game. Okay, so very good. So that has a shield on it. I, I, I don't know what I don't know what the status effects do, dude. I don't think the status effect can be on the those dice. I think that's the the big thing here. Attack plus five. Shield plus five. So is that a guarantee, like, on this turn we'll be getting a plus five on that? I guess it is. Okay, so it tells you what your your stat die is going to be, at least one of them. That's the only... I, I, I fully understand everything else. I don't get the, the extra dice. So, like, right here. We know that charge is higher, but these are plus ones only. But I feel like we want to to go for the smack here a little bit and then we're, we're definitely gonna just smack him again um attacks are plus one here as well a little bit of a weak roll but that's okay um all dice rolls plus two when below 50 percent hp i'm not below 50 percent hp so why maybe it's for him when he's below 50 percent hp that seems Kind of strange, but I mean, I guess it's fine for me. Let, let's do our our battery, get that back up. He, he's likely going to smack here. I mean, it, it's random, <laughs> so we can't necessarily uh, predict that, but sure. We, we've got a shield, so it doesn't really bother me. What do we attack plus five? I mean, at this point, you, you go for it, and uh, we, we get our lucky number. We'll, we'll kill him here. It's pretty much impossible not to. Since you roll three die and there's at least a one on each of them. So great fight, right? Great fight. You, you love to see it. You really do. The bear has been toasted. Very good. Plus one attack, shield, and charge stat. Oh yeah, it's like the easiest choice of my life, right? Um, just give me, give me the extra stats. That's great. That's great. Okay, so then we get a chest. Um, I'm gonna go big on these. Like, go big or go home. Um, chest was full of poison and it's a common die. <laughs> we, we just do not have luck with these, man. No luck with these. Okay, what does this do? Performs an extra charge for 2, 3, 4 battery. Okay, so what if we put that on, like, here? So it's a one one three three six set. So this is just a better die. And this is the zero one. So what if, what if we put that here? Right. And now charge is plus six. I mean that, that feels positive to me. Okay. Roll the bonus die. I thought it was a freaking mimic. Oh, what's with the poisonous chest, dude? My luck on these freaking bonus rolls is just trash. It's just trash. Okay, what are you? Gain dodge, which avoids an attack. Or static when you have no shield. Injury. I mean, th this feels great, right? And I, I think, I'm gonna be blunt. I think you do this. And then that means you do this. And now we've got some pretty stacked dice, right? Pretty stacked dice. They, they freaking changed though. This was not what the dice was. It keeps on, it switches, I don't know, I don't know the difference between the top and the bottom. These are still better, though. Lucky number will still be uh, a two. We now have a chance for some, some eights on our attack, which feels very good. Um, and we've successfully completed the boss fight. Happy days to me. Uh, we've gained our, our stats. I think it's just, just telling us a little bit. Capturing ghosts earns you stats. Okay. Stat points either increase your max HP by one and battery by two. Or can be assigned to your 
attack, shield, and charge. Okay. So I, I have two points I can use. So my max HP and battery. I understand. I understand. I get... I, I, I kind of get it. <laughs> I think... I Look, I'm just going to be blunt with you. Let's go like this. And then that way we still get some battery plus on this one. But I, I like having more shield. I, I think that's... That's kind of where you want to be. So let's continue. We, we go to the next floor, right? We go to the next floor. We'll do this floor. And then we'll probably call it for the episode. But we'll try to finish up this run in the future. Okay, we also full healed. Which is very nice. We'll bonus die. I thought you were gonna... Frick me up with a freaking mimic. Uh, die has no dice effect. That's okay. If it's good numbers, then then we're still happy with it. A two four four five six six. Two four four five six six. So I feel like you want to. So this is zero 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 seven seven eight for attack plus three. So what happens if I do this? Nothing, more or less. And this is still zero, zero, zero. There, there is an interesting strategy to, to go zero, zero, zero on one of these, but then put it as your uh, lucky number, right? The zero. It's an interesting idea. It is the two, four, like, I feel like we want to do this, right? We lose out on this bonus because I think the stat dice can't have those. But this is now, I mean, that's a, that's a beefy die, dude. And we're getting a plus four shield, theoretically, every turn. Or something like that. I already found the exit. Frick. Um, okay. Let, let's fight this double enemy. I don't know if this means, like, a, an elite, a mini boss, something like that. Spend, spend one on the bonus die. Enemy starts burned and I'm status immune. Okay. That's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. Hello, ghost hands. So now we're we're kind of messed, right? We're kind of messed because now we've got we've got sixes in the mix. The attack. Okay, you know what? I think six is your answer, and it's basically now we shield. We hope we roll a six, and then once we shield, we attack, and then we still have our charge that that's chilling in the back as well. So let's shield immediately, and I'm status immune. He's status immune. Happy days for us, right? Um, unfortunately, we did not roll our six. But we still start our, our run with seven freaking shield. Which is quite lovely. He did just hit me for six, though. So maybe we're going to learn quickly that that's not necessarily great. And our big shot carries over. Very interesting. So I'm going to charge here. And we're, we're back up to full. He's likely to smack, right? And, and do some damage to us since we have no shield. I don't know what this is going to do. It's a drain attack. I have a feeling that that probably gives him health in return. Let's pop a shield. We, we got plus eight on the shield. That's a 14 shield, dude. And that's our lucky six. Let, let's now get some charge back. 11 charge back. You love to see. Okay. Next turn we smack unless he does something, you know, insane right here. That's a really good roll, but I, I have to assume he will not hit that hard. We have an attack plus seven on this turn. So we we roll. That's an eight and a seven. It's going to drain our battery to hell and back, dude. But it was a good amount of damage. Okay, so five. We take no damage. We have our big shot. You no, no, no. You had to be a big shot, did ya? You had to take a big nine. Okay. It's a Billy Joel reference. <laughs> you don't get those very often. Alright, so we have a dodge. That's very good. We can take advantage of that to, to get a little uh, battery back. And we would like to get, you know, up to, up to 20 here. So we dodge whatever the attack is. Sort of, I guess. Uh, we see over another charge plus 10. Crank it. We, we gotta get the charge back up. He keeps on... The, the drain shot, I think, drains our, our battery is what it's doing. We're also... We're, we're draining, like... What? He, he just keeps on draining us, dude. He's a little drain lord. 
That's his, his sole mission on this earth is to drain me out right now. Okay. We're back up. You drain me, I swear to God. What? Steel shield. Unfortunate. I don't have any. Coward. Okay, now we'll take some shield. Big numbers, big... Oh my god, dude. Give me the freaking shield. There's there's a little bit of big number simulator in this game, dude. It feels good when you roll some big dice. Just the idea of having a, a bunch of dice. It freaking rocks. So, charge plus five. I would like to do that. Give me my charge back. Thank you. Sitting at a nice 27. You do love to see it. This is the uh, steel shield. No, stun slap. Okay, that's a new one. That's a new one. Let's go for, for more shield. Dude, we haven't rolled our lucky six in a freaking real long time. <laughs> I would like to roll it eventually, please. Okay, he definitely... Yeah, dude, start of enemy turn, drain three battery. Now, now I... That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so we charge back. It's a bad charge, to be honest, but that's okay. He drains three. This is the, the drain attack as well, which is, is really not great for us. We're going to get a plus ten, which has been a great time for a lucky. Although we also, when, when we get lucky, we get stunned. So, not incredible. This is, uh... Shield steel. Okay. So attack plus seven or shield plus eight. You, we have to smack him. We have to smack him. While we're above the threshold, you, you gotta freaking smack him. He, he's, he's down. This is stun slap. Please don't smack hard. That's an eight slap. Oh. This is very bad. Okay, all dice rolls plus two and below 50%. I am afraid but let it, we're we're freaking doing it okay i mean this this could be death could be death it is not death it is not death by by one small flick of that wrist thank you you're dead yikes i mean like real freaking yikes i'm at one health does not really look like a promising future for us right here but we'll we'll roll with it. Um, heal from poison damage on you and the enemy. Interesting. Do I mean you you like have to take that because it, it's heal associated right now? <laughs> give me give me the question mark. Anything of value? No. Give me whatever this rest site is, and please allow me to heal. I see a bunch of plus two, minus two, and then I also see some some dice, dude. I, in all seriousness, freaking roll. Mine, shop price is minus one. Upgrading uncommon dice is expensive. This is a shop. Okay. It's time for an upgrade. Understood. So the bottom die is the upgrade. Okay. Okay. And it costs the ghost jars to upgrade. I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's get our shield diet. It's 14. Never mind. I'll upgrade the the freaking this one. Oh god, dude. Okay. That's brutal to be honest. Extremely brutal. I can't even I can't even do the bonus roll. It's very sad. What is what is this? It's a 012277. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm good, to be honest. Okay. I keep on looking for, for something in this life worth living. And we, we just are not quite there yet. Um, we also, dude, all these question marks have been nothing. I used to, I, I, when I played off camera, I got some events here and there. So, no roll for discount. We can go in, but like... Oh, this dude sells actual, like, dice. How interesting. Uh, we can't afford anything, but... That, that is an interesting, uh... Point for the future. Hey, it's an event. Okay. So, looking inside an open room's room... room open roomous room is a bottle perched on a shelf. 
liquid inside constantly changes color between red and white, almost hypnotic. So reach for the, for the bottle. I roll a one, two, or three, which is a 34% chance. I don't know, dude. Go for it, right? I did not roll a one, two, or three. Finally stops changing colors. Settled on white and looks like your ghost jar, so you put it in the bag with the others. I gained a ghost jar out of it. So that, that feels good enough for me. I did not really want to click combat. And now I feel the need to to go for a bonus on this. We're dead. Start the battle with regen. Let's go. Okay. We're still probably dead. <laughs> probably dead. If we're not dead, we'll see. So four is now the magic number. Uh, you have to you have to roll four. When when you have a max of stuff, you you gotta you gotta. So you heal seven HP when you reach fifty percent. You gain a counter. Attack back for three HP if attacked. Ugh, ugh. We have to charge, but like, if he even remotely smacks us, we are dead. We we gain our three shield. Don't hit me for seven. You hit me for seven. Regen Screech. So he gained a little bit of regen. I understand. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for the charge again here. Oh, bless you. Lucky number. Very, very good. Very good. Okay. Then we go for a, a little shield action. That's a that's a lot of shield, dude. That's 19... Sh 21 shield. Okay. I mean, you, you cannot smack me for, for any amount that puts a dent in 21. So thank you, sir. I will now... I mean, is there... What, what if we just... What if we just crank shield, man? Like, you can't hit me if I have shield. Do, do your regen screech. See how much I care. J just hit me. Hit me for, like, two. You hit me for six. There's more than two. I, I will now charge. It's a three and a five. Puts me above 20. That's that's all I care about. I still... We're, we're getting an additional bit. I don't understand how the hell stats work in this game, dude. Maybe you guys can attempt to explain this to me. Uh, my brain is apparently too small for this. Can only attack but gain damage equal to the attacks. Our attack is also plus 7 on this turn. Uh, unfortunately, we... We did not really... We did no damage to him with that. Jeez, man. That's pretty bad. I'm still enraged. I also have um, a ton of dodge right now, though. Because we're, we're rolling like good stuff. So keep, keep it going, right? Keep it going. We, we did smack him a little bit. He's got some counter. So I think I took three or something. But I'm dodging it. So that, that seems fine. We can only do one thing, so you just keep on attacking, right? We also got some danger because we're below 50% 50, uh, 50 HP. And we rolled that uh, that on the die. So cool. We're, we're still in rage, so just keep smacking, right? That's that's the moral of the story right now. When in, when in rage, just keep smacking. We're both low on health. Um, hopefully this is not something that hurts me. It does not. When in doubt, freaking roll again. It's 10 damage. He is dead because we were enraged. So he kind of, I mean, he helped us in the end. Our attack dies pretty good. So he, he just, he just smacks us. Attack with your attack stat when enemies attack you. Honestly, dude, sign me up. Why not, right? We, we have no ghost jars right now, which does make like doing things difficult. What are you? Honestly, sure. Uh, do another fight. See how much I care. I, I will not roll for buffs, no. Just, just get in the fight. Hello, wolf. Falco and the uh, fox are joining next. Four is across the board. Happy days. Give me a little... Give me a little charge to start. You roll a four. You love to see it. That's some great news. Then you roll a little shield die. Eights across the board, plus another uh, couple is totally fine by me. This dude has some poison, and don't I heal from his poison? I do. That's lit, actually. Super cool. 
And when this guy gets 50% HP, he gains regen. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. The plus stats are not looking great. So, oh, dude, we have a freaking... We have a big shot. Let's go big shot. Give me a big one. I mean, nine's fine. It's not huge, but we're also healing from him. So, it it's kind of nice. So, he healed for three. Then we go... Well, we don't need to go for the big charge. Honestly, dude, just, just smack this sucker. Just smack him. You don't love seeing a one on that die. But you do love seeing the seven. Seven is good stuff. He heals for another five. Okay. We, we, we got good stuff. At this point, just give me give me a, a shield. Six, three, two. I mean, that's a really good shield. Quick, quick little 11 shield. Hard to be upset. He takes poison damage. I gain HP from it. I mean, the poison is insane, man. I, we, we have a, a poison build in a, a weird convoluted sort of way. And I, I could not be happier about it. We still also gain... I still... <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I have no freaking clue how the hell we add three shield at the end of our turn. Like, we, we consistently do that. I have no idea how we do that. That's a ton of damage. Okay. Big number. Big number. A little attack does not bother me. Hit me for four, see how much I care. Uh, I'm about to hit you for, uh, kill you. Attack plus two, we might not kill you. We didn't kill you, that's a bad look for me. But that's okay. Um, I still avoid attacks that lower HP, and I avoid three of them, so this probably will not hit me. Dude, is is like, really good. Is really good. Um, goodbye, sweet prince. You are down for the count. Somehow I'm unbeatable all of a sudden because we have this this poison healing and then we poison and it's just everything's good, right? Gain dodge when rolling a zero, one, or two. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, I will not go in here. I am going to to leave the floor and go down to the next floor, which is presumably a, a boss fight yet again. It is, uh, but we are going to leave the boss fight for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Fuzz Force Spook Squad. Uh, we'll do another episode, see how far we can get here in this run. A lot of interesting stuff to unpack, but like I said, it's a it's a dense game. Like there, there's there's some really kind of. Uh, I don't want to say difficult to understand things because I think the concept is simple, but sometimes the strategy uh, can be a little, little, little head breaky. So thanks again uh, to the dev for reaching out with the key. Looking forward to playing more in the future. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye bye.